Broadcasting live from the Treehouse in Phoenix, Arizona. It's Not Conscious. With Mark Poles and Chris Woodsy Peralta. From the home offices in Gilbert, Arizona. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hola, check Mark. Hello. I love I'm, your shirt, bro. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's this, red. This is a very red shirt. Um, this was purchased as a State 48 shirt. Whoa, really? So there's breweries also, State 48 Brewery, but the t-shirt company, the apparel company, State 48. It is a Bruce Arians special when he was the head coach of the Le Cardinal. The Arizona Cardinals. Arizona Cardinals. The football club. The football club. Not Le Champion, because they've not been that, but Le Cardinal. And uh, proceeds went to his, uh, he has like a boys club charity. or some kind of charity that he does. So, And it, it's a cool shirt. So, and, and it's got a cool hat. Today the newsboy is, cap. And today is Saturday. It's Super February Bowl weekend, 6th, bro. Super Bowl weekend. Who happens to be the head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Oh, uh, Bruce Arians. Yeah. So, you know. Shout out to Big B, and then he was such a nice guy B-A. to our to my ex's yeah. dad. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. awesome guy. Yeah. Good organization. Really, really nice. So thank you. Good luck tomorrow, sir. Yes, and we'll probably report on this a month later. Go sports. Today's not conscious though. We're gonna get serious. Oh God, I'm already depressed. I'm gonna start <laughs> because I was the one who initially hemmed and hawed, and then you hemmed and hawed, and now we're meeting in the middle. Sure. Hemming and hawing. <laughs> initially. It's like pinchy punchy. Well, initially you'd brought this to us. Now, what is the subject for today, sir? Tell us about the subject. Cloning. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Are I you... was, hope you go a little bit longer. I was going to take a nice long sip take here a of drink, delicious bro. beverage to wash it down with. <laughs> Did you need a Royale with cheese? I always want That's a Royale That's a tasty burger, cheese. bro. Kahuna. Burger. All right. Um, but I initially him because you had brought this to us a couple weeks ago and then or maybe a month ago or so. sure, yeah. And I'm like, holy shit, I'm not ready. This is too big for me. I can't I'm not That's gonna be ready by said. X amount of day. Can you give us like another week to do it? And then somehow it got tabled and then resurfaced. Yeah. And then this morning, yeah, I get a text and what does from whom and what was it about, sir? Uh the text was from me. And it said, I can read it, but uh, the, to paraphrase, it said, I've watched two documentaries and run, I read a bunch of articles, and I feel like I'm not prepared for today. Yeah. And I said, fuck it. We're going to do it anyway. <laughs> it's not what you said, but no. that was, you're paraphrasing your response. But I called you. You did. Because we, it definitely needed a conversation. Uh, I don't I don't disagree with that. Because I think texting, sometimes you get lost. Some can be dumb. Stuff. So... We are going to go, we're going to talk briefly about some text, uh, some cloning stuff, but we're going to get more, a lot into these other avenues. We're going to follow. We took some notes. We'll leave some uh, links in the notes as we always do. But uh, this is about cloning. It's ethics, how it came about, what's going on, what it really is. What's and all going that. on? So, sir, would you like to start us off with what it is and the first thing that was cloned and we'll go from there. Sure. Cloning is the process or process of producing individuals with identical or virtually identical DNA, either naturally or artificially. In nature, many organisms produce clones through asexual reproduction. Cloning in biotechnology refers to the process of creating clones or organisms or copies of cells or DNA fragments. So it's like, it's a Xerox, bro. I like Xerox. Making a copy. Yeah, okay, copies. cool. And then it starts, so the, the documentaries we watched and the, the first thing we all remember in, in that I remember yes, sir. from my, I don't know if it's child or younger days, I guess, because I was an adult Back in already. the day? Shit, I, I, the like, I would have been like 21 or 22 when Whoa. this thing happened. So I wasn't even a child anymore. No, you could vote and have a beer and shit. I could have a beer. You could have a case of beers. Well, hello, Dolly. <laughs> Uh, so who was the first, sir? I'm sorry. I think I just gave the away. first clone was Dolly the sheep. Dolly the sheep. 19, you. 1997. 1990. Yeah, she was created in 96 or something. It's really weird. Right around there. But I sure. think she, yeah, something. But 97 was like the year they like brought her out. Announced it. Yeah. So start with in that. the UK by Doctor Ian Wilmot. Ian Wilmot, the creator of Dolly the sheep. Now, what I found really interesting. Let's just talk about all of Dolly. Because I'd like to go just get that, knock that out of the way. Not Dollywood. Because that was 25 years ago. Yeah. Obviously, we have come 
eons forward in genetics yes, in 25 correct. years. However, initially, um, what it was was they took, they thought this thing was something about differentiated cells and, and cells were not differentiated. So meant what that meant was a cell that was a bone was a bone, even though it might have traces of other genetic stuff in it. Yeah. And an organ, a cell that was an organ was an organ. It's like it was baked into place. But they did find that you could take that cell and actually make an organ out of a bone cell because they're not, yes. they are differentiated. So they, they made a, an egg out of a differentiated cell. That's how they got the clone to begin with. They did it without eggs. It was really interesting. I don't know if you knew that. It was just a DNA cell. It was yes, not an egg. Correct. Okay, and they were able I to take you. the cell. And they yes. proved the cell could be made into an egg, which is really interesting because initially they thought that wasn't possible. So that was a pretty, pretty interesting breakthrough. That's a giant step, I would yeah. think. But they had five initial dollies that survived. Well, they're not all dolly. I'm mean, it's not like George Sheep. Foreman's kids. But there were five of them survived. Four died, you know, four died either at birth or soon afterward, but Dolly made it. Yes. The average life expectancy I looked up of a ewe or a, do a Dolly type animal, the sheep, sheep that she yeah. was. Well, it's a, ewe, uh, it's a type of sheep, whatever. Uh, As 11 or 12 years. Okay. She made it six and a half. Okay. But they euthanized her. She had some pretty bad, like, diabetes, arthritis, and all this other stuff. But then I pulled up another article that claimed that they had 13 other clones that were from Dolly's batch that are doing that lived longer lives and were better so they've obviously improved, improved the process this process but initially they said it took this dr nigel cameron said that e ian wilmot took 277 tries to get to dolly yes what are your thoughts about that, that? seems excessive but seems exciting. I, I, is it really because you're talking about a cutting edge science at the time that no one knew about so it's completely trial and error right yeah. So it, it you're lucky it wasn't 3000. I mean it's just an incredibly trial and error lengthy process. Absolutely. I agree 100% with that. So after that uh but it but it was really interesting because like I said this is 96 and it it got a lot of flack early because of that. But the thing is what do you think the first airplane did? How many you think didn't make flight too well? You know, how many cars didn't drive too well or right. had early accidents as they were working on the process to make this thing happen? Can you compare the cloning of a human cell to the aircraft or the automobile? It depends. On? Are we pieces or are we thing or are we like, uh, are we just bags of cells? Do you, how do you <laughs> yeah. how do you view us? <laughs> like I I believe in evolution. I believe that emotion and feelings come out of the way we're evolved, right? Like I don't think that a dog has the exact emotions we do. They of have course. emotions, right? But they're limited because they're less yeah. complex, less complex. I guess less with, consciously aware. Yeah, and complex, right? Being, right. You know, not bipedal and all this other all these other things, right? Um, so. I I see us as that. So I would say that it's science. I I might be dark. It might be the darkness of me, the dark cold side of me, but I do see us like an airplane and a and a car. Like we are bags of cells. Now, we can still love those bags of cells because emotion comes out of what we are. But I can look at us much more like a template or a blueprint or pieces, material to put together versus like human, I guess humans at this thing as a cloning thing. I'm thinking, get off me, bro. I don't know how to respond to your statement. How do you view it? I'm not sure that you can, obviously it was not alive when the automobile rolled off the assembly line. And I mean, were people saying, Oh, this will never replace the horse and buggy. Did that, was that a statement that was made? Probably, right? Yeah, there's a definitely dragging feet, but I'm saying like, hey, this remember the space program, all the people that died. Like, yeah. were, NASA stopped sending people into space. Right. Because they felt that right now, what they were gaining from those missions that they were having was not worth either the public relations or the actual loss of life of the of the astronauts that they trained. Right. Uh 
I guess I'm just trying to think of, okay, put myself in the shoes of people as, okay, the aircraft in 1903, the automobile, the, the nuke, the, the A-bomb in, in 45, 1945. So where would, where in 1997, 96, when this, when you was cloned, where, where does that stack up in the strategic objective view of human progress and scientific growth? Do you, I don't know where I would put that because you're talking about, well, the bomb, you split the atom. Well, this is a living tissue of a human or a cow or a fucking bat, whatever. Right. So I don't know where that fits. I would argue. And that is, I didn't even think that question would come up. I didn't even think to pose to answer that question, but that's the, that is the question, right? Well, yeah. Where does, cloning fit in the powerfulness of humanity or whatever and in a hundred years um, will we as a human race look back and go oh yeah remember that time when there was a sheep and in history and oh that was just another step in the way is that how humans will look back at that time frame 25 years ago and you know now as as, as science and technology advances how will history look back upon this time regarding this subject those are two very separate questions so let's yeah, start with well, the one. Sure. I don't think so, but go ahead. I would ar well, I would argue that this is the single most important possible thing that humanity can do. And the reason I say that is because of the number of people that believe in God as a single creator and that the second we can make, we basically do, we're doing Adam. We're doing, we're making Eve. Uh, I get that. Because we're taking yeah. from Adam. I mean, we're... we're whoever we're taking from, right? We're taking it could something. Be Adam. The rib could be the Adam cell. Adam Jefferson. The rib cell, right? Right. What if the rib cell is like the most productive one and well, it was true the whole time? It's the most delicious. No, what it, like imagine that being the true, the most true <gasps> the whole time. Like, oh my God, this is the best one to make clones with. <laughs> it's the rib cell. That'd be so fucking weird. The McRib cell. Oh God. Mmm, delicious. Shit on fucking no, bread. But with, with the amount of people who believe that God is creator and that we he made us in his image and obviously so, if we okay, start making you're talking things about in our the own image. Judeo Christian God. Right, but even yes. Yes. Okay. okay. I'm Old just Testament, clarifying. Let's go let's go Old Testament God okay. because Christians do Seven have old days, and new. All that okay. Right. Okay. But basically I'm just clarifying. God made us in his image. Mm -hmm. That's the general gist of God, right? Yes, correct. Like even for all the all the religions, the general I'm, gist yes, is like I just God, wanted to clarify. God made us in his image. Right. So for the three majors, but the three majors account for how much percentage of the? 87%. Yeah, it's got to be. 94. Right? It's got to be. Yeah. It's got a huge number. So, um, and most of the other things are offshoots of those. Originally. Correct. So that's why I think it is actually highly important that this gets resolved I don't know if it's legal, like in some kind of paperwork or some kind of process that we can all agree upon. Like, it's kind of like the internet. The internet's run away. We need to get regulation or we're behind the eight ball on how to even proceed with this kind of pro with, with this kind of process, actually. Well, we do know that in the United States and the UK, cloning a human is illegal. That, yes. that's a, those are federal laws. Correct. So that's already been addressed. I mean, Clinton saw to that, right? Yes, they made they made them illegal, but maybe we don't make them illegal. Maybe we just say this is what we like. Maybe we need to address what we can and can't do. Like, okay. what is the limit? I don't know if they just have a law that says cloning humans as a whole body is illegal. Like, I don't know the jargon, right? Yeah. So I'd love to see that. But it definitely is something where we're talking about. There are countries that don't observe that, right? Correct. I mean, we go, we tend to look at China a lot. It's unfortunate, but it's true. China will take an Apple technology reverse engineer and then sell as their own. They'll do it with a Google phone. They'll do it with a, yeah. they'll do it with things. They, that's how they do a lot of the technology is they reverse engineer it. They're obviously not adhering to international copyrights, international, you know, patents and whatnot. Right. Cause they're doing they have reverse engineering, right, they're reverse right, engineering right, everything and making it. Yeah. So there are going to be countries. I'm not saying China in this case, but we've talked about China with the, the twins. Uh, and that'll come up later. No. But, won't. Okay. <laughs> well, what well, what do you put your veggies in in the refrigerator? CRISPR. <laughs> it just came <laughs> up, bro. <dick. laughs> I was like, uh, it just came up. The veg just I don't eat up. veggies, dude. <laughs> this should have been the answer. Actually, you would have gotten an ad boy for that. I don't eat veggies, bro. The only veggies I eat is salsa and guacamole, dude. So anyway, so 
after that, basically what, what they thought was anyone who, anyone who would undertake that anywhere in the Western world, right? The free world, let's call it the free world. Cause it's not just Western anymore, okay. but in the free world would, would be called the Kevorkian of reproduction. Yeah. That? that was in the, yeah. in the document. And it's right. I mean, the guy that they talk about in that one documentary, that Zavod guy, whatever, he, he's borderline, he's genius, but he's either super fucking crazy or so he just gets it and we don't. Okay. So what documentary is this? It's one of the two cloning human. Well, cloning yeah, the first human. It's, uh, the first cloning, the first human, I think was a, on the YouTube. Yeah. It's on the YouTube. We'll, we'll put the links okay. up in the notes. Yeah. But anyway, but I mean, how do what was your response to the Kevorkian? Well, I think the guy that the main doctor that was championing this, you know, 18 years ago, I would be interested to see where he is now. And I think that he's my perspective on the gentleman that, that wants to, the proponent of human cloning. He wants to move science forward as much and as quickly as possible. And he comes from a background of he's a doctor uh, in vitro fertilization and uh, helping couples have kids, that sort of stuff. So that's where he came from. But I just see him as, hey, this is just the next step of science. And if you don't agree with me, that's that's completely fine. But I want to take this in the direction I want to take it in. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, he he sees. Well, the way he claims he claims he sees it, right? He sees this not like just some wild experiment. He thinks this is going to save humanity. He thinks that this is a future way of reproduction. And people are going, well, look how many embryos it took to... Yeah, that was the first fucking one, right? Like, okay, let's not so kid ourselves. What does that statement mean? Look so, at the number of embryos. What? Well, so what he wants to say is like, he's saying 70%, he says 30% can could make it but that's like in vitro fertilization we'll talk about in vitro in a second but basically he thinks that 30 percent, or that was his claim back then was 30 percent of a cloned embryo could be born normally survive right and they go what about the other 70 percent? right and that's the ethical question right those are deformed or they're just destroyed well once again looking in a religious world yeah em some people consider the embryo part as already life because it already was conceived right yes. it's fertilized well, these in this case is it's not being fertilized. There's no sperm. That is correct. In this in the this cloning we're talking about, it's correct. It's, it's the Go ahead, because you can explain it better than I can. No, no, it just is an embryo. I apologize. You're correct. It's not fertilized. It is an embryo, right? Right, but it's it's when cloning the DNA. It's a it's the egg of one person and the DNA of another person, and they're inserting the DNA into the egg to clone the person that wants to be cloned, the person where the DNA came from. There's no sperm involved in that. Correct. So that begs the question to me, is that a fertilized egg because there's no sperm? Right. So from a religious, ethical, morality standpoint, I don't know where those folks would stand. It's a great question. Because there's no fucking sperm. Yeah. We should have a pastor on for this. I thought about it. I, th I thought about it too, actually. And it's interesting. We would lose. Well, I'm we kidding. would lose only because we I'm would- I'm kidding. We lose because no one would change our mind, not because we would lose. No, but we could still have a good conversation. Right, but we still lose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, to your point though, it's an excellent question as well. Is uh, but the thing is, is the embryo? Is it now embryo? So, so the Bible needs to somehow update to explain uh, uh, whether uh, it's uh, it has nothing to do with the bible right but this I'm, is not no, in no, the no, bible no no i'm this, just i know but didn't they talk about what isn't it for who is it thomas who who's the guy thomas aquinas that talked about the embryo being but the that's life not he's not in the bible is he no no i know he interpreted the bible right oh but i'm talking about where where in the religion is embryo life or fertilized life you see what i'm saying like where I, did that well, become the is that in the Bible? Where is it in no, the Bible? It's not Where, in the Bible. Okay. So, so they came up with this after. Yeah, it's the uh, the religious viewpoint is conception, and conception is when the sperm fertilizes the egg. Right? What is the basis of that? I have no idea. Viewpoint? It's not from the a verse. And not, then he, not they didn't, that I they didn't, know like, of. Twist some kind of biblical uh, verse. I don't think so. Okay, I, that's the thing. I'd love the origins of that, right? Yeah, that would solve it real quick. Real if quick. it if it's not if it's just something that. A priest came up with later 
Well, they they did absolve Galileo. How years many later. times did a priest come up with something like, "Hey, right, uh, priests can't have wives"? Well, the first one did Saint Peter. Yeah. What? So why? So some dude, some man, came up with a new rule that has that is against the original idea. Yeah, and it's still true to this day, but that's Catholicism only. So let's right. You but know, still, I mean, no, that's but off the, subject. Catholicism, once again, these are ethical questions as a whole. People with religious beliefs have pretty ethical, pretty strong ethical beliefs. Oh my God, he's dying! Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> son of a bitch! Oh my God, how's your coffee, bro? Delicious. That's oh, a it's huge death cup. wish. Shut up, Death Wish. Death Wish, sir. Mine too. What oh, up? Salute. nice. But, um, Delicious. So, going into that, that's the ethical question, right? People with a faith system, how does this, how would cloning play? Because cloning, in my opinion, is exactly in my image. I mean, if we're going to talk exactly in my image, I don't think you can get more exact in my image than cloning. Do you think that that's so? You're saying that's playing God. That being God. Okay. I, mean, I don't even want to say playing. It's just okay. His. So, take it from a different. Well, go ahead. Let me clarify, please. The God that we all talk about is a creator. Like, yeah. it's not my personal belief, but yeah, that would be playing the is, God is, that, that people believe the, in. Which the, people believe in him. Is the human ability to clone another human being playing God? That's, I mean, that's, I think that's the base question of the morality and the pros and cons behind cloning, right? Yeah. It's playing creator for sure. And, right. And in the, is where in the Bible does it state in my own image? Isn't it in Genesis? Uh, in my own image and likeness is the verse, but I don't know. Um, it might be Genesis. Yeah. But, it, and if it is, or it doesn't even matter, regardless, if it's in the Bible somewhere, own image and likeness. Well, cloning is literally image and likeness. Yeah, because it's a duplicate, right? So, I, I there's no, I don't see how you can even wiggle out of not playing God at that okay. point, right? Like, try to convince me that it's not playing God, right? What if it's okay? So there's cloning for different reasons, right? Oh, right. So there's cloning. We're talking about cloning the entire body right now. Yes. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll go to organs because. Okay. That's where we start all right, all right. changing our ethics, right? But, yeah, that's where I was. That's where my question was going. That's where okay. it gets gray, right? Okay. So we can move on to that. I don't. What are your thoughts? Tell me. I would love to hear your thoughts about that, about the playing guy. What, what do you think about it? Obviously, you are. Um, however, is that okay? Is it okay to. Okay, there's a couple that they're f 43 years old. They've been trying to get pregnant for 17 years. They can't. There's an issue with one of them, whatever. They've tried in vitro seven times at $8,000 a pop. Whatever the, whatever the number of times and, and the amount of money and effort that they've tried to have a family and they can't, is it okay in that case for them to do that, to, to clone their own two cells to have a family? Because that's what they want because they want to carry on their lineage. They don't want to adopt. They want to have that bond between a married couple that are very happy and in love, et cetera. Is that okay? Okay, yes, the the scientists, the human race is playing God in that case. We've come to that conclusion, you and I. We, whether we're in charge or not, that's yeah. beside the point. Yes, the human race is playing God. Is it okay that they're playing God because in that case, that couple wants to have a family? I don't, I mean, I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. Uh, Well, let's talk about in vitro then. Sure. Because uh, that's important. Because not only are we looking at what cloning is, but we should compare it to other other types of reproduction. Okay. <clears throat> right? Obviously, you've got your, your just bone, bang them and, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Love them and leave them? Uh, no, bang them and bang them and wang them. What's what are you running? Wham, just, bam, thank you. No, man. pump them and dump them. That's oh my is. god, where are we going? Just with kidding, this? man. No, you've got okay. So this is this is where it was interesting. What it, it was only fifty percent. Where is that statistic? Oh yeah, in regular reproduction, only half of the embryos get implanted anyway. So you just you're just out. 
Well, okay, you're with your, but you've got to also wife. back up because, okay, fifty percent of the embryos that are created during traditional mm -hmm. methods don't stick to the don't uterine wall and or something, right? So, so, right. If you back up, how many? Eggs are not even fertilized. Right. So the percentage goes down drastically again. Right. Right. I'm only talking embryo because okay, I'm trying to keep what, it in apples to apples okay, comparison. I wanted because, to clarify, but I agree. Thank you. Yes. No, I appreciate the clarification. Absolutely necessary in this case. This is just embryo. So this is once right. again fertilized. This and, is what people would consider huma humanity or conception. And the term embryo is a fertilized egg. Yes. Correct? Yes. Okay. And in the other case, embryo is an is a fer it's fertilized differently na unnaturally yes artificially not, not pumped just dumped <laughs> chump Ooh, nice yeah pump dump chump i like it welcome um so in regular reproduction so a percentage of them don't even get fertilized right so yes. they don't even become embryos but only half of the ones that do become embryos make it uh, attached to a uterine wall in the first place correct so 50 percent of the embryos that are created don't naturally stick literally and correct. that's and this is where I get sad because I think someone would say, well, that's just God's will. Well, a lot of people would say that. Right. Uh, but the real, like the ones really digging their heels about like being open to something like that. Because it's a really tough topic to be open about if you have a real, if you have a judgment about it. It's hard to kind or of Or if you, your mind. if you're a couple that can't get pregnant, you have very, very strong feelings about yeah. it, right? Yeah. And, and if I you want to have 15 kids, you have different feelings because you're like, fertilization, that's just cake. I just, I just thought about it there. Boom. There it is. Mm, Top right out. <laughs> um, okay. So then in vitro fertilization, they said it needs about 900 embryos to make 18 babies. So what's that? 0.2% or some? It's very small. So percent. it's a very small percentage. Right. So these are both accept widely accepted, even encouraged in vitro is very much encouraged to try it if you can't do it through natural methods. Right. You would you would argue most people say, "Have you tried in vitro?" Have right. You, tried? you know, it would be suggested. But I but I would be curious to someone that's a devout Christian when in vitro became when it was first announced in the term test tube baby came out and that was a negative connotation and it was a joke. It was in the early seventies, right? So when that when in vitro fertilization first came out and then it became more accepted widely and it became more oh it's just if you can't get pregnant that's what you do that seems to be the path so if you ask a, a devout religious person 30 years ago what would their what would their response be what would their response be 20 years ago what would their response be today so it in vitro is almost is a widely accepted practice but from a religious standpoint is that not okay because you're not conceiving naturally i don't know Right. I'm not sure how to I would I would argue. Please. You're arguing a lot today. And when when I say argue, I, yeah, I obviously know. just mean state, but I would I would suggest or guess. I would make a guesstimate that someone in someone's church has had in vitro fertilization. I would I would think so too. So just having it, you can't be against it and have it. I mean, well, or Yeah, but you there could be a religious practice that says oh you can't that's that's against god's law or something to that effect there may be in certain certain religions may have that i'm curious if there are and which ones they are yeah i don't I, we should have looked that up i didn't i tried i mean i didn't want to we're not a religious show but we it does kind of skirt every once in a while like i said we're not a politics show we're not a religious show but we do those that's what's the world is about right politics and religion in a lot of cases Sadly, so it comes up yes well it's okay it's okay, people. It's not we'll, okay, bro. We'll work the politics around. part, not okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go. But, you know, people, the religious people specifically felt that embryos were hum, tiny humans, basically. And that's where we're at, well, right? Yeah, that's, the destruction. Yeah. So Correct. But, you know, it would be my guess that a religious person, uh, someone with faith, would say, oh, the half that don't implant is just God's will. It wasn't their time to have children. The ones in vitro would be like, well, we do have free will to try to make things better, to make our life better. Why'd you get all Southern just now? I just felt like I do declare. I don't <laughs> know. I felt like a little... Are you from Kentucky? Well, I felt a little warmth coming across my chest here. I don't know why. It's because Bruce Aaron's on my breasts. <laughs> Bruce breasts. That's I got weird, bro. Breast Aaron's right here. Okay, stop it. <clears throat> Give me a score, please, before we continue. The score of the game us. tomorrow? Yes. I will say 
the mighty Chiefs of Kansas City. Forty-one, and the Pirates of Tampa Bay, Florida. Thirty-four. I like it. What is your score? I'm gonna go thirty-four, Tampa Bay. Thirty-one, Kansas City. You think that Tampa's gonna win? Fucking Tom Brady, bro. I, I hope so, but I don't think I. I don't can. see anybody beating Kansas City. Kansas City's great. They lost twice. They lost once this year. Twice this year. I want them to lose. No, I just no, don't no. Think it's not about will. wanting them. I don't know even why you'd want them to lose. They're they're a great team. Because I would prefer Tampa to win. That's all. I was. I mean, I'm. I'm just. Let's see. Okay. I mean, look. I don't. I think hope Ma- you're right. Let me put it this way. Sure. Mahomes is not affected. He doesn't get pressure. Like it's not like he's different. He's different. So he's like very Brady like. Like he's not gonna get flustered or anything. But Brady's just been there so fucking many times. I think he'd be good at keeping everyone else calm. Oh, I agree. Like I think that is a huge. He and Gronk together going, guys. This this is about as special the guests because you don't know how often this is going to come and blah blah. blah. Just I think, nine times, right? I just yeah, but for him, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he can you can be in the annals or the annals of history, dude, <laughs> dude, dude. What if yeah. you could clone Tom Brady? That's oh my god. We're gonna get to that. What if you could have twenty two Tom Brady's? I forgot to tell you what the other thing, the other rigorous. Uh, movie or documentary that I watched yeah. this was The Sixth Day with <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger just to prepare for this cloning episode. Uh, get to the Super Bowl! And in the beginning of that, do you remember that no. movie? In the beginning, it's like an arena football. It's like fu- it's in the future and it's football and the quarterback like snaps his neck and they drag him off in the cart like and they take him into the ambulance and they basically kill him in the ambulance and replace him with his fucking clone. And they're like, wow, that hit looked really bad. And he comes back next week and it's like nothing happened. Wow. It's, I, I think that's why I think Patrick Mahomes was cloned. You remember wow. that hit he took like two weeks ago? Look no, like he got knocked I didn't see week. it. I know he was on, Dude, the guy I know he was on CTE out. protocol. I, if I may, no, should not even have been, it shouldn't even be a question. If a UFC fighter got knocked out the way he got knocked at that one time, even if he's normal a week later, I don't give a fuck. They make you sit out for six months. Mandatory. Well, if you USC out, and like, NFL are right. vastly different. That's my point, though. That's how important that hit was. I, I just don't know how, how what that's going to happen down the road. Anyway. Who's uh, anyway. who's uh, Kansas City's backup quarterback? Chad Henney, I believe. Or Todd Heineke. Heineke? Heineke? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. And, uh, He's, it, it doesn't matter. Okay. And Brady. What? And what? And who? I'm just wondering if Kansas City would have won uh, last week without Mahomes. Could have. Tampa, Buffalo is good. I mean, Buffalo played pretty well. I mean, just Kansas City is just really good. Really good. Really good. And and Tampa Bay is peaking at the right point, too, because I feel like they were trying to get to familiar with each other, and now they're getting familiar. They're in that familiar stage where they weren't early. They were feeling out because COVID, all this, all the, this year was just crazy. Anyway, so you think 41 34, Kansas City. Yeah. And I'm just going to say 34 31, Tampa Bay. Come on. Do you, do I think, do I think that Tampa Bay is going to... I think that Kansas City is going to win. But then that's, why would you say that score? I just have... I, you know if how, you it's think a gut, Kansas City it's a gut, is going to win, but the, you don't make any sense. It's a gut. It's a gut, man. Brady's bubbling up. Brady comes up. It's like it's like bad um, bad seafood. Brady. <laughs> it's like a rotten <laughs> shrimp. Brady always comes up in the conversation. It's like... Who, uh, Am I the only one that doesn't hate him? That's so weird. No, I don't hate him. I, I love and re- absolutely respect the guy. The guy puts his head down. He just wants to win. Like, why would you hate a guy for There's a, being most professional people hate and being him. good? At, yeah, because he's good. Well, when because you're, when yeah, you're if, you're a, if you're a Patriots hater, right? Well, if you're at the top of anything, everyone yeah. wants to knock you down. Yes. Yeah. When we're at the top of our podcast game, you know how much hate mail we're going to get? And like one letter, two <laughs> tops. Because our top is where. <laughs> like, fuck you and right. your cloning, bitches. And back to cloning, my friends. So, <laughs> no, the in the sixth day, dude, dude, like, they basically killed the dude and replaced him with his clone. Football player. Because, you know, he have so much money invested in him. That's how I feel like it would happen in the future. It totally feels like dystopian like that. Yeah. i like to go back to the question about are we playing God? Yes. So how would you compare this to artificial intelligence? Is the human race playing God, creating computerized thought that will become sentient at some point? It, it may become sentient. Is that also, is creating, is cloning an AI the same thing? 
That's a really great question. You're welcome. I'm going to say 100% no. What? Fuck off. Not because I'm right. It's just my belief. It's my opinion. I like to argue right. that. So we're going to do that. So I will say no. And the reason I say no is because it has not artificial intelligence, nothing biological. It's completely I agree unnatural and manufactured. Yes. That's the only reason. But please tell me your thoughts on it. My thoughts are Battlestar Galactica, the Cylons, bro. Yeah, but the humans created Cylons and then they became biotech, like, you know, organisms and shit even though that's a fictional show. We're not, we're going to get there unless, unless, Oh yeah. If we don't blow ourselves up or have an ELE, right. If we, if humanity continues, that's happening. I agree completely. That's Uh, regardless of political, any regardless of any political walls or anything, someone with science will advance. I was going to say science, but you are correct. But I think that there is a, a similarity between AI and, and, and human human gene cloning because we're bo- we're creating something out of nothing in a sense i understand a cell is not nothing so there green, is a similarity green to, assault with right. that but the humans are creating something that's like not natural i guess are you ready for a mind blower no here we go if we think that consciousness is an emergent property from what we are and we create consciousness artificially through ai isn't that that I could see to your point that would be like playing. Yeah. Game, right. Cause if consciousness is something that only God, the, the proverbial God can create, then it would be playing God. Yes. Because if you can create something that is conscious the way we're conscious and that is the level that God is then. Okay. Yeah. But I think God, so why, why are we putting ego and fucking feelings of God? Like why are we putting our personal human feelings and like God feels those things. God could be a fucking completely cold bastard who couldn't give a shit and just went, let's see what happens. And he's basically watching a fucking ant farm right now. A reality show. Right. So what's that test called? The AI the test? Red dot test? The, the AI oh, test. Oh, uh, the Turing test. The Turing test. So Alan Turing. Is sure. The name of the guy. Frank Turing, whatever. <laughs> Dr. Francis Turing. Alan uh, Turinger. No, Turing. Sure. The yes. Turing test. Yes. Uh, Blade Runner. What happens if... In, say, 17 years, there's a human that's been cloned and there's an AI, and they both pass the Turing test. Wouldn't AI and cloning be the same at that point? Because they're, one's by a biochemical, you know, and one's machine, a fake, like Mm. fiber and copper and... Right. And if we would know that, the senses would be the same because it would be like being plugged in the matrix, right? Like all of our, if we, if, if we're just by, if we're just a biochemical computer where our neurons go off and our, right. Our, our senses go off our, uh, you know, our our nerves. Yeah. Yeah. That's what everything is, right? Our, our, we get flush when we get excited. Well, those are all like responses. Those are biological responses, Yeah, but they're programmed in a weird way. Right. Well, on the AI, they would be. Well, right. But well, they're programmed, they are programmed in us too. Yes, genetically or biologically somehow. Yes. And they're a result of who we are and our, and our species and everything. Because we would react differently than a bee would react or than a dog would react or whatever, right? Because we would react the way we do. And it would be slightly different, I would think. It would be instinctual. It would be a lot more. Right. You know, more whatever. feel than instinct. Yeah. So if we can make that out of wires and have that same experience... That's ultimately what consciousness is, is the experience of humanity. Then, yeah, that would absolutely 100% be playing God. But but it wouldn't be replacing God because only God can create beings, I think. And I think that's where I, I think that's where people would be less. I think people are more scared about what AI will do. I think, but the, you don't, the revelation that humanity, humans are the, are, are the problem is scary to me. That's what I'm afraid AI is going to figure out. Uh, agreed. Completely. However, humans at a certain point are going to become afraid of AI. Why wouldn't they become afraid of a cloned human? If a Oh, no, they're, are, they're more afraid of cloning. If a cloned human I'm saying cloning kills somebody would, right. or does harm to somebody, then the whole, the whole world will be up in arms like, cloning is horrible. Look at this, what this clone did. Well, humans suck too. 
And if this we clone, totally suck. If this clone is a replica of another human being, they're just as fallible, right? And if AI is programmed by a human, then AI is fallible. I mean, by by thought, logic, process, right? Yeah. Am I totally nuts here? No. Okay. Well, this is the th uh, so the, here's here's where we're gonna go further. Sure. Playing God. No. Well, this is the thing. God creates in our own image, so now we're God. Can I play dog? But how come we have no issue with our, because uh, we talk about free will. Well, we learn how to plow and we learn how to build houses and stay in one place. We learn how to make electricity. These knowledges are okay, but the knowledge of cloning, see, God wouldn't, didn't God give us that knowledge or uh, allow us to get yes, to that knowledge? Yes. Like if let's let, I'm just going to go down the thought experiment. God exists. God doesn't want you to play God, so he doesn't allow you to get to the knowledge of playing God. He doesn't give you the just, intelligence yeah. to figure it out. Right. I, I had that thought earlier so today. It becomes that weird catch-22 thing. Like, it becomes it, that endless loop. Is is, it a, did he give it to us, or did we, take, did we take it? Is it the chicken and the egg type of thing? It kind of is, but it's also like this is like, it, this is against God. Well, God, God, I have the knowledge of doing this because I experimented, so he allowed that. Uh, he, yes. he is God being a him in, in yeah, all I, the I, major yeah, God, texts. I agree. I get you. I'm trying to. I get you. I'm no, you're good. PC. Can you have me but, but Beavis? Beavis, yeah. Thank you so much. Um, does that make sense? Like, yeah. So, oh, yeah. So give, granting us the knowledge to learn how to clone is what God granted us, right? And that's our free will to do so. So how, how could that be admonished? How can someone look shitty upon that? I agree. I, if 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 a human being is created is indeed created in God's image and likeness, and that human being has the intelligence and knowledge and ability to create the process to clone a human, well, if you were the human is basically the middleman because God gave the human the ability to do this, right, and to develop the tools to do it, right. And to your point. From an evolutionary, from a completely scientific, non-religious standpoint, yeah, some people, some futurists feel like the mechanical, the AI version of us is our next children. Yes. It is going to be Battlestar Galactica. Yes. Basically. Yes. It's going to be. Except for the nukes. <laughs> that would be great. I hope no nukes. Lots of number no sixes, nukes. please, sir. I'd like to order number six, please. No nukes, please. <laughs> Who else? There's a couple. Are there a couple hotties? Oh, Yeah. Six and four, four to eight. I don't remember all the. I don't remember all the numbers. I just want it from the fracking ship. Uh, yeah. XO Colonel Ty. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Col Colonel Ty. Um, backdoor Commodore. <laughs> um. Anyway, we get this knowledge, so God gave us this knowledge. Like I don't. Uh, so anyway, there are futures who think that making the me mechanical is going to be our next evolutionary step. Yeah. So. It's just interesting, right? Because they don't even give a shit that whether we're biological. And yet you have a, a sect of people that wonder whether we're playing God. <laughs> like, that's how extreme the two views are. Yeah. One that does not even care whether it's a cell or whether it's mechanical. As long as it's like us, right? Like, it would be our evolution. Like, it would be, we can upload into it, right? And the other people are like, well, we don't even want you to recreate it. Like, biologically really weird i think really sharp it's sizes. a huge spectrum yeah it's yeah, a huge spectrum and everyone lies in between that right so anyway um did did god give us this ability the knowledge well, or are we are we thumbing our nose like i don't understand how can we both how are we okay, both wait, allowed okay, wait. to have free will and be in the image of god and then when we use our knowledge to be admonished for it how do you you to go to your question God gave us this, the intellect that we have, right? Uh, per so the, yes, per the book. How can, based upon that statement alone, God gave us this ability to think and have intellect. How can you say that God didn't give us? How can anyone say God did not give you the intelligence to do this? Correct. Yeah, you're, you're trying to prove a negative. You can't. You cannot prove to me that God refused us this and we did it anyway. So if God gave us this ability. If we have the ability, then it's God given. 
crap. That, yes. That's just the simplicity of it. But if it's if it's if that's true, which we're saying that it is, why is it against God's will to do this? It seems like a the argument kind of is a circle right. of doom. It seems like you're an ally of God. You'd be like, I'm helping him. Yeah. <laughs> right? A knight uh, of Columbus, bro. Well, the thing is, though, even, we talk about because just like the technology stuff that's coming with the social media and everything, there's gonna there needs to be some kind of oversight. Yes, things are illegal, right? But there are countries who are obviously uh, not paying attention to those legalities. Yeah, because allegedly this one guy in the Ukraine. Yeah, is it Ukraine or something yes, in the U- Middle East Ukraine. as well? Well, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like so, Lebanon, I think. Yeah, something something like that. So it's very interesting, right? Um, but. This is where the question is like, how, this is my question about the Bible. How will the Bible cloning is going to happen? It's going to eventually get accepted more and more, just like medical marijuana or recreational cannabis or whatever. It's going to, it's one of those ones. I feel like it's going to get softened because it's creating versus destroying. In my opinion, I think people will look, start looking at the creation side of giving someone a child of giving someone love a life Mm -hmm. versus the loss. It's not like an abortion where you're taking a life. This is, it's funny. In vitro fertilization takes 900 embryos to make 18 babies, and yet abortion, people have a problem with abortion. It's interesting. Well, aren't humans the most hypocritical creature yeah, we're, we're a little in complex. our known solar system? Yeah, we're a little nuanced. Nuanced. <laughs> we judge everything, bro. We judge ju- <laughs> the hell out of everything, man. Um, so how will the Bible handle relationships? Does marriage matter? Does does intimate? Does monogamy matter? Because now your cre- procreation has nothing to do with a man and a woman getting. Because really, ultimately, isn't that what that was to do? Is to create a family and to make love together and yes. to make your children. You don't need that anymore to do that. You can just clone. You don't even. It's asexual reproduction. Even it, well, literally, that is the definition. Well, yeah, microbes do it through asexual reproduction. I'm sorry, we what? Still, we still have to have it nine months in somebody. Microbes, bro. Micro- <laughs> <laughs> microbes, bro. Shout out. <laughs> How's Trista Polo doing? Happy New Year. Merry New Year. Yeah, even though it's February, February 6th, but it'll be March like 19th, Happy I think, spring. or something. Um, March something. Anyway. Um, yeah, what are your thoughts on all that? Which part? Oh, what was the last part I talked about before? Uh, microbes, microbes, bro. bro. About that, about... Uh, uh, I definitely see your point that... The abortion versus embryo thing. Uh, I, I see your point that... Well, first, I mean, I have like fucking four trains of thoughts, bro. Um, I definitely see the uh, a point about in the future, what is the fate of the family? If... if, if People are gonna stop having children's traditional children's children traditionally will in vitro and or cloning be the way. Is that? And then would you? Would is it possible that people are gonna be like women are gonna say I don't wanna I don't wanna get pregnant. Why don't you just let the baby gestate in the freezer? I don't know some shit like that. So an I, incubator. Sure. Yeah. Incubator. Great. Incubators, bro. Sure. <laughs> that's our next t-shirt. Oh, fuck. So is that, that's a very, in the next 50, 75 years, is that, obviously that's going to be possible, but it's, is it going to be happening? Is it going to be mainstream? Ah, uh, I don't know. I could see it and I could see the uproar regarding that. Absolutely. I am oh, either. Boop. I'm either and I'm, you're either for it, it or you're against it. I don't it. mean it with the ego side, but I'm either a visionary or a fucking monster. Both. But a I visionary monster. In fifty years, yeah. it's I have not watched it, but I'm familiar with it, but it's gonna be very handmaiden's tale. You're oh. gonna just fucking two very affluent people. It's see, this is the thing. It's not it has nothing to do with race, sex, gender, blah no. blah blah. It's class. It is class. It's it always is all been about money. That. It's race. always been that. It's always been class. Now, certain races and certain genders have been held down initially to start uh, on the right foot in society in some cases. So that makes it harder to get to the class you want to get. But it has always been a class thing. It has always been about 
the haves and the have nots, correct? Of course, absolutely. Right. So what's going to happen is, say, God, in 20 years, if it's possible, Megzi and I want to have a child or something. But she does, you know, we we find someone and we pay them to carry our a child. surrogate. A surrogate. They yeah. carry our child. Or maybe they will have technologies like incubators at some point. I think at some point it's going to happen. But have I you feel seen like in the Matrix? <laughs> well, that's what we are then. <laughs> We're the, those are just keeping us warm. Well, that's, but that's true. similar I guess they to do what... Burn, yeah, that's they do what, us. Yeah. That, when, I, when, I, when you... Yeah, were they clones? What are those? Because they're all individuals. They're batteries, bro. But they're all... Divi- what would you say that one time? You said some... Copper top copper time. Tops. Yeah, copper top. Well, that's what they call them in the. Remember, into one of these. Remember, they called them copper top in the movie. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I, that. I thought was, that was your own. I wish. That's genius. I wish you, I came you're up with that. a monstrous visionary, bro. I give credit, sir. Okay. I didn't. I did not. Do no doxing. Just like the Wachowskis didn't write the movie, they stole from a black woman. Oh, okay. Yeah. Have you heard that story? No. <gasps> that's a fun story. I, I'm, yeah. I'm good. There's a no. There's a woman who wrote the, both the Matrix and. Matrix 2. No, one of the other major science sci-fi type Star Trek things. And it was basically re like they rewrote it and whatever. She won. She won some lawsuits. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Okay. It's interesting. You know, I always go con- I always go controversial though. Probably conspiracy theorist. So, where are we at on this? Uh playing God. Playing God. We um, got that oh, uh, how relationships, the Bible and all yeah. that. Yeah. So how how will they handle handle that? Like See, it's my opinion that I will I will say this. Churches were awesome for a community. Yeah, it of course. Really, it really it was awesome. Uh right? Dude, bake sale? Hello. Right. The the I think the challenge with what's happened with humanity is that we're losing community more because we're spitting in the face of God going, "Don't tell me that God exists." So we're losing the community in, in with it. And then we're trying to regain it through different ways. Like we're losing arts. the community because of COVID, bro. Oh, that's true. The vid, the yeah, vid. Six feet, six feet of separation. <laughs> hey, it's like it's Kevin Bacon, six, but different. It's like Kevin Bacon. It's six Kevin Bacon. Six Kevin Bacon a feet. Six pounds of bacon. That's beautiful. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> Meat candy. But <laughs> but um, I feel like we we have lost a lot of the the communal part. And the, that's where religion really did play a strong role in, in keeping communities together. Yes. Um, because now we're so individualized that we don't stick, hang out. Right. But I think we're finding our way now with technologies and, and we're finding other interests. Like we can have an art group, like a painting group or a Yay! sculpture group, or like you and I have that singing group or like me, 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 uh, me, 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 barbershop me, quartet. Me. Yes. Cause we both need haircuts. <laughs> Um, I think we played that one good. We're good there. Yeah. Touched on eugenics, which was interesting in that one documentary. The yeah. one woman was like, she was basically talking about our eugenics thing. And what what I found out that was released like this week. That was like over a month ago, and it was recorded the end of December. I thought that was like only a couple of weeks ago. Feels like it was time flies. It does. Well. Time does fly. When you're having fun. What up? So go ahead. What were you gonna say? Uh. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, I was I was surprised that they even mentioned eugenics. I was like, "Whoa, I know what that is." <laughs> You're like, "I know what and that then, is now." And then uh, they went into the Nazis and the master race and stuff like Same that. Stuff, and I'm yeah. like, I never, th- I never, I never put cloning and eugenics together. I just thought, I guess I thought the best of it. Oh, they're gonna clone somebody, right? So they can have a baby. They can and- they can have a family. I didn't think about the the eugenics effect or whatever we want to call it. I that never crossed my mind. And that's where I went to right away. Of course. It's really, cause I'm fucking nihilist. <laughs> it's a nihilist man. I know. I know. I said it. Hey, can, I, I'd like to argue that you're a nihilist. This oh. is what I think you're going to say. What? You're going to say, yes, this will make an excellent Slayer song, Slayer song no. or band. Yes. Name, go. Or a metal what? band name. Um, well, we'll get there. We'll get there. I think I know. Genetic diversity. Oh, no, she, that's what did it. you think I was going to say? Uh, no, there was what. another one that was sounded like a metal band name. God damn it. I forgot. What are you doing over there? Get off me, bro. Uh, Not masturbating. Housekeeping. I forgot. I should have wrote it down. I forgot what it was. Darn it. So we went to this. Uh, at what point are we accepting cloning? Siegel cells? Organs? Entire beings? Yeah. What do you... So there was there was an interesting topic where they talked about a person 
could clone themselves and the body would just be there. It would be brain dead, right? And then they could use that clone to reper to take organs from like, hey, I'm 64 and my liver's going bad. Boom. I'm going to take the liver from my clone. Or transplant the brain into another bo entire different Which, body. Which, yeah, that just took me down the path things. of Altered Carbon, that show on yeah. Netflix or whatever, Amazon Prime or whatever well, the fuck it, it was. It's oddly consciousness upload, but it's really actually you're moving the hard drive over because die. you're putting the brain inside another body. It's not just the sleep. It's not just data. Right. Or data. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually the fucking biochemical property. It is the entire human brain. Right. But we don't, obviously, we, to my knowledge, we don't have the ability to transplant a brain, right? I mean, maybe we do. I Currently, don't, I don't think we do. I, don't, I mean, we can do heart and we can I do, think we do organs, portions of lungs. a brain. I think we can do portions of a brain. I think, but I don't know. But we definitely are going to be able to at some point. Regardless, see, this is the thing about these future questions. We know these things are, we're going to get the ability to do this. Assuming that everything keeps moving the way progress, progress progresses, what? the way progress, progress progresses, progresses. Uh, progress and we progresses. don't, like I said, we don't die or kill ourselves. We have to we, assume that. We're Right. We're assuming that, though, that this is going to be possible at some point. Brain transplants are going to be possible. Heart, complete heart, complete lung, like everything. At some point, you would think we'll get there. Yes, I agree. Okay. I mean, if not already. So, right. So I feel like we don't even need to ask about, like, but the question is the ethics of that. Can Is cloning an entire body sans brain, like, is that, is that, a, hu is that a human? What is that? It's a replicant. Right. So, so what is, I that? don't know what that is. Right. And in the eyes of philosophy, religion, whatever, what, what is that being? Is that, it, does, should that exist? Is the question, should it be made? Should it be created? I say, yes. <laughs> I don't know why I don't, cause I don't have an issue with it. I really don't, but I know people do. Do you believe that this is just the next stage of science? Absolutely. The next phase, I, next step. It is my opinion that looking down the road we're going to get to the point where we're going to start having surrogates then we're going to be able to we have do. then we're going to be able to have like test like uh places where you can just incubate them well, can't you do the, oh incubate. Uh, you're not yeah, even, i thought you meant for the nine months okay. while, while right, right right obviously like so you're talking about growing a baby growing Is a that, baby okay and then there's going to be points where there's going to have they're going to eventually in, invent some kind of acceleration growth if you wanted like an adult you, like if you needed a you if you need it it could grow what, twice as fast sounds like you're going through the drive through and ordering a right. venti it really is though right but we're we're that fucking far ahead and it's funny because we <sighs> sorry i just no. got something in your eye no just the dichotomy of humanity it's it just hurts man i do you want me to share or do you want me to I not don't know. share? I don't know. I don't know. Do you? Go ahead. I'm happy to share it, but it feels like I'm on a couch then. But I'm cool doing it. Oh, uh, that's weird. So my best friend back home, my best friend back home sends me a video, and it's and I didn't know what it was until I opened it, but it was uh, it's an outside surveillance video, and it's in somewhere in Pennsylvania, and there's a lot of snow on the ground. People are shoveling, and it's a man and a woman yelling at some guy, screw you, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. Guy comes out, shoots them dead. And it turns out he shoots himself and just well, like watching how that just devolves and then watching that we can fucking take a single cell and make a fucking sheep out of it are like, yeah, so opposite ends of the spectrum to me. Yeah. That we are capable. And I know that's where we came from. I don't know how we're capable to like tap into that every once in a while. You know what I mean? Like we gotta, we gotta let that shit go. It's like, why are we holding on to old shit? Why are we hanging on to old shit, man? I don't, I don't because it's in our nature? It's that carnal, pr primal, I don't know. It was the stupidest argument. Just watching this thing develop. I didn't know it was going to happen. So it was. It just affected me very poorly. That's horrible. Yeah. And then he took his own life and all three died. Okay, great. That's Over what, you know? And then nothing. here we're talking about. Over right, nothing. And then here we're talking about you can take a fucking follicle of hair and make another you. I mean, like, that's basically what we're talking about right now. How the fuck are, is one, like... Yes, I understand. So, well, it's also, what, it's also the, the same thing as a human created the atom bomb. 
which killed 200,000 people instantly and a human can create life. Yeah. So it shows how different we all are and how we can, what is he, Oppenheimer saying? I become God. I become death. I've, Excuse I me. am, I am become death. There, yeah. That's weird. Harbinger of death or I'm become harbinger. Sure. So it just shows how humans are so different in the fact that we can create pure terror and destruction in an instant. And then you can also create life. So there's so much beauty in it and, and amazing people and things and in, in the world. And yet there's horrible stuff too. So it shows that a human has both of those things inside them at all times. Yeah. I would think, but then that's the question. We go to science. At what point do we accept this? Like, um, just be, this is the part about scientists. Scientists generally look at whether they can do something, not whether they should do something, right? right? The look on Oppenheimer's face yeah. showed you that he went, oh, fuck. Right, what did I do? Yeah. He did not think, I mean, I, it just seemed to hit him much differently than it hit other people probably looking at it like a science, like a little science project. Oh, here's our little homemade volcano. Pff, oh, look, it worked. You know, whatever. <laughs> Right? He, yes. He understood the implications of that thing that he created. Did he? After. No, after. no. Well, I'm saying that look on his face when he's that statement he made after yeah. after it went off. Right. And the devastation. Because I think he just said, can we make it work? Right. But do you also think that he thought, okay, I'm going to split the atom. Well, what are the effects of that? If I split the atom or the hydrogen, you know, whatever, what, how big of a bomb is that going to be? Uh, I'm sure that f physics physicists and super smart people that I can't think of right now can do the math and go, oh, if the atom does this, then the repercussions will be X. Right. You would think, oh, the blast radius and you would think math. And I would think they dictate. did some of that. Right. But I guess they didn't realize, oh, hey, it's going to be this until you see it. Right. Then you're like, well, you can't, you can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. Is right. that what you say? <laughs> Well, once you write it, writing it down on a piece of paper, oh, 14, you know, 14 million casualties, whatever, you're not watching the skin melt off the fucking bodies like right. it does when the bomb actually or goes vaporizing. off. You're literally writing this down as like it's a formula. Like, okay, it'll be this wide and the ra you won't see the yeah, vast. Everything within seven miles, yeah, blah, blah, blah. It'll be 42 million lumens of brightness or whatever. But you don't, you don't conceptualize the math until you see the, yeah. per, the, the result. mushroom cloud. Yeah, I, I can't imagine. And that's where it comes, right? Is cloning. Same thing with cloning. Do we, it, is this something we, you know, it's, we shouldn't be touched. Or, in my opinion, like, what were we, what's the one now, sickle, the, not sickle cell, what's the one, stem cell, stem, stem cell. cell research, right? Yeah. Come so far. People have had remarkable recoveries in knees and shoulders and joints and things from stem cell recovery, which is like kind of poo-poo, but it's starting to make this huge Research. And that's basically, it's kind of mini cloning. It's like injecting. It's fresh like a cells. branch off of it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's like injecting cells into into that, right? So the question then is, you know, where would you stop it at the organ? <sighs> I don't know. Where would you accept it? Like currently, if like off, because you're pretty open minded, but you might have a limit of what you think's not like what you think would be acceptable for you. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't I don't know how to answer that. All right. I mean I can't I can't at this point I can't say, oh no, human cloning is definitely bad. We can't have another Chris Rene around. So I can't I need to I don't know. I don't know. Is there what are the ramifications of that? If there is, you know, obviously they they made Dolly the sheep out of the cells from her mom. So it was a, you know what I mean? So I don't understand the long-term side effects or repercussions, not side effects, repercussions of having human clones. I don't, I don't know that. Well, let's assume that we quote unquote perfect it as much as it can be perfected. As in babies are happy and healthy. Yeah. Let's just say, let's just do that. And they're, and they're identical. We'll get there. I think we'll get there. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's just going to take time. 
but we'll get there more and more consistently than 30% or whatever percent they think they can do it, right? It'll get better, is my point. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be a point where it's going to be indistinguishable. Correct. You're not going to. Yeah. So the question then is in ethics, does it get, is a cloned body, an individual, does it have rights just like any other body? Well, if it's an exact duplicate of you, check mark part two, is there, it has, wouldn't it have the same everything? Would it have, would it have consciousness? Well, yeah, because it's, it's literally exact copy. Right. So but that does, but it, is it recognized just because it has consciousness? Is that what we recognize individual rights? I, I don't know. I, right. I, I don't like, know. What do, that con- So that's a big question, right? It's like, do we clone mindless fucking drones to do all the mining? that robots can't get into in the corners and the fucking whatever. Okay, right? like, yeah. Dangerous it gets, shit. It gets into that kind of thing. Okay, we'll just clone a bunch of masons. Clone rights. This, You know what? We need generals. We'll, we'll just clone uh, 42 uh, fucking General Washingtons and, you know, whatever. You know, yeah, obviously, I he wasn't the best strategist, but like a Napoleon or somebody, whatever. Yeah. Some military mind. Sun Tzu or some fucking guy, right? Like, imagine fucking being able to clone the guy who wrote the book The Art of War or something yeah. and being like, hey, um, this is the new stuff that just came out. I know, I know you're not aware. This is a bow and arrow. This I know you're a rocket guy. launcher. Yeah. <laughs> this is a nuke, <laughs> and this is don't this you is don't touch that button. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's the Until question. Until the right? Hun. All right, but but it's not even about cloning bad people. Like I'm. That's I understand. Not, that's just the Doctor Evil bullshit. This, but it does get to the point of the individual right. Is like, if you clone everything, sans the brain, so I can put my current brain into it. Or even with a blank brain, it's ready for me to input all my experience into it if we get to that level, right? Where you can cross load or download, right? In a, another brain, from brain to brain, for example. Side load. Side load. Ooh, it's nice. You're welcome. It's like my side piece. Whoa. Um, yeah, side load. What are your thoughts on something like that? I don't know. I don't know, man. This right. it's fucked up. Like I know. Geez. Well, talk me through it because I you got stuff in your brain. So, so go, okay, go down any so of your routes. This is how it all started. I should should have brought this at the beginning. About <laughs> uh, yeah, I, so let's rewind I one you. hour and seven. Let's minutes. Go back uh, one hour. Yeah, one hour. Uh, literally one hour. So. Uh, about a month ago, six weeks ago, I saw a clip on CBS Sunday Morning where this couple in San Diego cloned their dog because the dog uh, was bitten by a snake rescuing the lady because uh, they were hiking and they cloned the dog and I was like oh shit I was like wow they, they fucking cloned the dog and now the dog's living at their house and Rusty the dog whatever and I thought wow what you know is that something that I would do you know would I clone Roxy she's the most amazing boxer she's been with me 12 plus years she's fucking great love that dog you know would I clone Roxy then at the end of the thing, they said, it's $50,000. <laughs> and I went, fuck, I can't clone Roxy. So Not until you get, not until you start making that sweet podcast. Hey, I know. So if it was a thousand, I would totally consider it. I'd be like, can I get five of them? Cause it's like, here's five grand. I want five Roxy puppies. And I thought, okay, it's cloning a dog. Is there anything wrong with that? Uh, I don't think so. Cause then you could, you're never going to lose your dog. You know what I mean? So t- the question to you is with, th- we obviously have the ability. It's expensive because this company charges 50 fucking grand. Would you, would you clone something or someone Mark? That's a great question. First of all, I love the story. Secondly, I think, I think you do it like a down payment plan. You're like, I'll, I'll, I'll go 10 years <laughs> without my payment. car. I'll go uh, 10 years without a new car uh, and I'll get a new rocks. It's a $50,000 dog, not a $50,000 yeah, car. Exactly. <laughs> but, it, but that's it's life. An and F-150. It gives you joy. Right. But this is where it gets really interesting. That genetically identical dog is not Roxy. It's a copy of her. It'll never be Roxy. And I'm going to tell you why we have not even discussed the nurture aspect True. Of of this. Yeah. We have literally touched upon only the nature aspect in or the biological aspect. Right, right. right. You, with different parents. The dog will turn out differently. Would be different. 
Yeah. Rock, I mean, I, not much. I, no, I, I don't I think, understand. No. Yeah, first I of all, get I don't it, think Rocks would be that much different, but Rocks would be would have access to another dog like she did when she was young. Yes. So that, that'll be the same. So different that'd be good. dog. Right, different dog. Different but house. It, but I'm saying, but yeah, it have I'm a partner, different, have a I'm different than right. I was, yeah. So, but but her environment will be different. And that will change. And that, this is what this is where I would take it. And I'm a fucking mad scientist. Let's clone right now. Let's fucking do it. And then experience, let's clone like a hundred fucking children. And this is where I'm, this is where the monster comes out. Clone a hundred fucking children, put them in all different kinds of environments growing up and see how they turn out and see how nature does actually affect as much as nurture or how nurture can impact. Because there are a lot of people that claim that your genetics are st still much more of a strong person of who you are, but you I can disagree. easily be broken. Right. We, yeah. As people who have experienced trauma and whatnot, we would understand that that's not true. What are your thoughts on that? I, I agree that that nurture is huge and the environment you you grow up in and the your in the positive and negative influences you have in your life and your education and that's that's a massive massive influence. I mean, if I had different parents, I would be a completely different person, right? So I would argue that you would be. Yeah. Again. A arguing. Um I certainly don't know if I would raise myself or if I would give myself to someone who I think would do a better job because I feel like I would be similar to me to my parents probably. So I'd be very careful about that. But, yeah. But I'd be so fucking curious how I would turn out if I had like that weird encouragement with like to pursue like some of the things I might have skill might have natural skills at or right. natural abilities. Um you know. And didn't have my car accident, for example. At yeah. 13. You know, there were some, you know, we always do those types the what of ifs. the what ifs, right? But, you know, obviously, could have broken his arm in third grade, though. Who knows? You know, right. What, you don't know yeah, what you would don't know what would happen. Don't Correct. get me wrong. I'm just saying, like, the other stuff, like the the natural ability stuff would have been fun. Yeah. To, uh, cultivate. But, you know, or just the general, like, less feel of having to live up to stuff all the time, I guess, would probably be the, la the, the high lack expectations. of pressure. That. Yeah, that would probably help. The perfectionist? Yeah. Yeah, bit. that's great. <laughs> um, <laughs> ah. Yeah, so na nature does play a role. We, we've we seen it, so we just don't know the e exact extent. I'm cur I would be curious. Right. Though, wouldn't it be awesome to clone, like, a million, not a million, but, you know, like a bunch of, and put them in different natural environments that are like but the thing is you expose them to really shitty well yeah but the problem is you might create a murderer right you might create so right. you don't you right. don't you don't know right you might not you might have a hundred perfectly normal socially adjusted people and you might have 41 murderers but even beyond that you'd still expose that child which shouldn't be exposed to those environments anyway like do you know what i'm saying just exposing a child to the environments we want to expose them to to see if they'd get changed we, well, I wouldn't want to do that. That's what I'm saying. That would be, cr that's cruel and unusual, regardless of what, I agree. The, what we'd turn the kid into. It'd be just having that. To go through that would suck. Right. So, yeah, I regardless. agree that, that we so should would, not do that. Right. We should I don't not do vote that. for that. No, no, I'm just okay. saying, like, that is just an interest, <laughs> that would just intrigue me greatly. That's where the scientists, look, my eyes light up, because I'm not thinking that they're Dark. human beings. The second I know that they're human beings, yeah, now I'm like, fuck, that would be really fucking cruel. Well, shit. Right? So, I guess I'm not a scientist. Damn it. <laughs> the other thing I want to talk about um, was the last part I pulled up was genetic diversity. Are you familiar with genetic diversity? No. It's not really in the, in the, uh, it's not in the documentary. Okay. But basically, the more we weed out of our genetics as we clone more, our genetic diversity decreases. And there's pro, there, there are people that say there's a point where you won't be able to clone anymore because. Okay, wait. Repeat the statement. The more that we weed the more out, we weed out current genetic strains, right? Because we, we're going to start cloning. We're going to start removing des undesirables like cancers and other like little genetic stuff. Because we we can start genetically manipulating stuff. So now. you're gonna you're saying we're going to be moving towards like a perfect cell? Yeah, Is that pretty okay. pretty much. It might be a and perfect then, you. It might be then, you without the hair loss, for example. Fuck, dude, why, man? Bro, imagine <sighs> I want to clone me with. Lavish hair. All my locks, bro. You wouldn't let your you wouldn't let your chi your clone child fucking cut its hair. Fuck no. Gorgeous locks. Um, you know what I would want? What? 
I want a clone of me, but uh, without the protein added. So I'd want a female. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's weird. Dude. It'd be weird, right? Yeah. Looking literally at your, your counterpart. Like that would be like your a twin mirror. sister. Oh, scary. Luke and Leia. Be creepy. <laughs> Why did I even say that? That's uh, the creepiest thing I've ever said. Shit. You derail me with your oh. weird thoughts, bro. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> um, about cloning. <laughs> okay. So you're going towards a perfect cell. Yes. Is that okay? And then. You're weeding out. It was your point. Right. You Isn't go, that the natural progression, though? If we're going to go to cloning, wait, wait, now we're going to go to genetic manipulation. You said we're going to the perfect cell, but then you said we can't clone anymore because it, the genetic diversity is gone? Yeah, there's something about genetic... I don't, I don't understand your point. Right. So basically, similar to the first... Gener first um, similar to the f first cousin thing, Oh. The gene pool will shrink... Because we're Radically. cloning people? Right, because as we we're gonna start cloning and removing i it's my opinion that genetic removal of like bad things. Bad things and eye and change your eye color and height and whatever, genetic disposition to obesity, whatever. I Heart feel like those disease. things will happen. I feel like those I, that just seems like a natural progression. Well, isn't me. that a survival? Well, if you're gonna clone, you might as well clone well. Is what I'm gonna <laughs> say. Right? Clone better. If we're gonna clone blow up. up stuff, let's blow it up right. Well, if, let's clone up. Let's not, not clone down. Okay. Let's clone up to our competition. Hashtag clone up, bro. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Hashtag clone up. Um, but that was the other thing. And there's a point where I've seen some Star Trek scissors where they're like, we can't have it. that our next generation of clones because our genetic pool is so tiny now. Even cloning that won't, isn't right. I don't, it's something weird, but it has something to do with a genetic diversity being smaller. Cause, and once again, who decides what we remove who decides that you'd rather have blue eyes right like who decides that blue eyes are going to be the prom prominent now color it's not the recessive gene it'll be the dominant gene on your clone that's the same committee that's going to allow us to go to mars go or to mars and it's the same keanu committee reeves right and some other people and it's going to tell us about eugenics about who's good right it's yeah. the same question again who decides these things i don't know yeah so that's it um in the 70s Real quick, test two babies. Real quick. I, I haven't thrown a real quick out there in I'm years, so man. I, I know. I want to years. Seventy-eight percent of people were against test two, the you know test two babies in the seventies, and now it's obviously encouraged. So, well, it, well hang on. A test two baby is oh, the starting point for in vitro fertilization. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Test two baby and in vitro fertilization are the same thing. Okay. Test two baby was a term they came up with, and they it was derogatory in nature because yes. it's like, ew, you made your baby in a test tube yeah you can see, i can hear the test tube snooziness baby. of it but you can't then they judged it to in vitro um anyway 78 percent of people were against them in the early seven against that method yes and now obviously what are we 50 years later and, and it's, boom pe people it's completely norm it's recommended have you tried they'll even say have you tried that right as a method right guarantee it's even it's mentioned Without even a breath, like, I don't even think without a pause or a breath or anything. Like, have you tried that? Because it's just such a natural thing to try. Would you like to hear this awesome statistic? Yeah. 61,740 babies were born in the U.S. as a result of in vitro fertilization in 2012. 61,740. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, reports about four million births per year in the u.s meaning one to two percent of all u.s births are annually four million kids total. per year are born in the u.s due to in vitro fertilization no i think four million births per year in the u.s of those sixty-one thousand oh. are so one to two percent of all u.s okay. births annually are in vitro, are in vitro. Okay. one to two percent like, god damn that's a pretty big number two percent yeah pretty big i mean we're say we're 330 million people Two percent is what six 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 point six million people. That's a lot of people. Does that sound about right? Well, it's four million times point oh two. I don't know what that is. All right. No, I'm just saying um, there's three hundred thirty million people. Yes. And say it's two percent of the population, right? Because births. Oh. I'm just saying if if it yes. got to the point where you know we're eventually two percent of all yes. births every year. Right. So it'd be two percent of the population, which is like six point six million people. It's a lot of people. It is. I, I agree. All right. 
Anything else we have? I have uh, two this? other points. Oh, perfect. Uh, one is, so 96, 97, Dolly the Sheep was cloned. Then uh, we watched a couple documentaries that are were like 01, 2001, 2003, 2004, right? Dated, for sure. Yeah, so then it's my perception is that the cloning term and the and the the news it went out of the mainstream so i'd never i had not heard about cloning in 15 years because they banned it or or whatever okay and then all of a sudden uh, six weeks ago i saw this thing on cbs about the dog right so if it's banned in the u.s and the uk then in other countries as you said whatever it's think about let's say 2003 17 years what has science done in that time regarding this subject you know think about 17 years ago the iphone wasn't even out yet or it came out that year well this panayotis zavos guy if i may please claims he's cloned human babies right I, there's no proof but that allegedly. was in the documentary no, i'm set- reading off the oh. wiki page right okay, now as okay. a matter of fact yeah so ju- the cloning claims zalvis claims to have created and implanted cloned human embryos however zalvis claims were roundly dismissed after he failed to produce any proof so, so he's stating that that's what he wants to do in the documentary right so my my question is in the last 17 18 years science technology intellect computers the ability to do things has increased at an exponential rate. So is this already happening? We don't know about it. Animals are being cloned. The only ban that I, of which I'm familiar, and there might be some countries that might be more that might be tighter, right? Like Zimbabwe. I don't fucking know wherever, not the U S as far as I know, only human full human cloning is banned. Okay. Well, there's a million things going on in the world that we think, Oh, that'll never happen. It's shit's happening. We're right there, man. So why is it so far-fetched that this is not going on right now? With China doing the CRISPR thing with the twins, I I would I would guess that they are already they're doing it. I'm just I'm just gonna guess. I would agree. Well, I I wouldn't just I'm not gonna call out China. I <laughs> would think that you need some new lungs. So we're gonna clone some lungs and then we'll transplant that shit. Maybe like Friday. You wanna do Friday? You open? Take a PTO day. Maybe I stop medicating. I don't think. <clears throat> so. Um, yeah, go. I think it's happened. I don't want to. No, no, it's not the shit on China. It's not. Right. It, but look, I don't think they're. But but China China only makes sense in the the number of resources that they would have at their disposal. The and size of the I country. Am, I get That's it. all. I get that That's they have all. the ability to do it. They would have the resources. Care. I would tell you that um, Luxembourg probably doesn't have the resources to do it. Dude, don't don't poop on Luxembourg. No, they're awesome. Or Liechtenstein. Or oh, <laughs> Rico Liechtenstein. Definitely him. Uh, um, maybe he would. Maybe he would sign the first decree. I agree. Maybe he's the first guy's like no human clones. Oh, on Thatcher, no human clones. So my next question. Yes. Well, let's complete. Are we complete on your thought? Uh, well, I forgot my thought. Well, your thought was, uh, <laughs> good thing I'm sober. Um, this is ridiculous. Getting new lungs. <laughs> <laughs> that the technology, you know, this oh, yeah, it's exponentially going. Go cloning ahead. Go ahead. has Go not been in the news for a decade and a half. Yeah. Right. Well, that's kind of, you, you can't tell me that research and trials haven't been going on you you can't no absolutely cloning's going on animals are cloned but it's not you don't see it on the news you don't see it in the mainstream you don't see it because we're too it's almost like the human race is too busy looking somewhere else oh hey don't look at that don't look at the cloning curtain look over here at the politics look over here at the oh there was a tsunami look over here at the earthquake you know what i mean i feel like which is weird it doesn't make any sense because it seems contradictory Everyone's cool as long as it's not humans. So I feel like it's it's like wild scientist, mad scientist time because no one's watching because as long as it's not exactly human. Not exactly human? Well, that's what I mean. If, if it's not an exact human clone. Oh, like, okay. If it's not exa- like, I feel like, honestly, I'm thinking they're doing hybrids already. I'm thinking genetic what you, what's hybrid. What's a hybrid? Um, man, bear pig. 
<laughs> Dude, you can't say Sorry, that when bro. I'm drinking, man. Holy shit. <laughs> If, if anyone oh, doesn't know, Man fuck. Bear Pig is from South Park, and it's Al Gore. He discovered Man Bear Pig. Yeah, he's a creature um, but, in the woods. But basically, half man, half bear, half, bear, half pig. Half, pig. <laughs> half, half, and half. I love it. One hundred fifty percent of animal. Um, but that said, <laughs> what's a hybrid? It's two different things mashed together, right? So, like a cheetah lion. Yeah, but without remember, we're talking about not breed. If you can clone, you can genetically manipulate it to work right so you can find a way you know what i mean yes or or at least not even clone this would be cloning this would be beyond cloning It'd be more like gene splits like half a lion i'll throw half a little cheat in there i will throw a little man bear pig and then we'll be good right so is beyond cloning kind of like beyond meat no this is gonna be this is stuff that probably is not illegal illegal <laughs> Well, I feel like I spent only, money, money. I need to get a kiss, kiss. I don't know exactly what's what's illegal, but it seems to me from what I've read, only human cloning is illegal. Uh, yes. So fucking all bet, fucking there is a man bear pig out there. Not man. Well, it could be a man bear pig because it's not human. Yeah, it's it's only half it's human, part human, it's half and human, half bear, and half, bear and half pig. <laughs> anyway, what, what do you want? My final point. I would like that uh, technology. I'm trying to skimming your process, notes. No, I'm processing processing your, what you're saying about how fast technology is going to go. Like, I you know, know. It's, it tells me it's we're already there. Train. We're oh, already yeah, doing yeah, it, right? And the thing is, and we're doing it faster and better and more frequently than anyone has thought about because it's it's not in the mainstream. So it's not in the forefront of everyone's minds because we're too bit worried about this year it's COVID. Last year's election. Right. Next year it's blah, blah, blah. The previous year was whatever the hell. Yeah, so, COVID and election, bro. Yeah, COVID mm, election fatigue, bro. Whammer. So you know, so it's not in 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 ni between ninety six and two thousand two, it was completely in everyone's forefront of their minds because it was on the news yeah. and it was protesting and yeah. the sheep because the next step after the sheep is a human right that's really that's where i feel like and that's it now they can jangle the keys and they'll do the human and they'll spring it on you it's not it's my opinion that they're trying it right now whether it's legal or not someone's attempting it in the world i that's agree. my opinion that's my yeah this but, guy one the zavos guy def claims he actually did so he I definitely would feel like he's trying to fucking do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So to give a comparison analogy, compare analogy, whatever the <laughs> hell, uh, in 2001, the United States government said, Hey, there's aliens and no one said shit. Right. Everyone's like, didn't even pay attention to the newscast. But be, in my opinion, because we've, had it in our minds and in our culture movie, you know, independence day and war of the worlds and fucking, you know, alien and blah, 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 all those movies. Right. So to compare that, I'm going to ask you a question okay. as a child. When was the first time you heard the word clone? Some movie. I just don't know. Cocoon, no. I'm thinking like sci-fi movie. It would have been probably late 80s sci-fi-ish sometime. I, but I don't know exact. I can't pinpoint. It's a great question. I just can't pinpoint it. What are your, when, do you remember? Oh, yeah. You remember exactly when you, wow, that's impressive. Well, tell me. when I tell you, you'd be like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I'll probably be like that. Uh, 1977. When a young Jedi says, oh, you fought in the Clone Wars? Oh, yeah. And then there's a movie, Attack of the Clones. Right. So, and then we didn't know what that meant. In 1977, right. Luke says to Obi-Wan, oh, you fought in the Clone Wars? And everyone, and then, th then they move right along. And then later on, they talk about how That's the clones right. got developed, right? He's a copy right. of Boba, or Jango Fett, blah, well, blah, blah. Well, the reason they- And Boba Fett's a clone. Yeah. Oh, if that is a clone. So to compare it, my, my point, to compare it to the UFOs, alien spacecraft, it, has cloning been going on for 30 or 40 years 
And it's just never been in the mainstream thought of humans. I believe it's been going on for that time. 96 was the first successful cloning of anything. That's when we were told or, about or, it. Or told about it, right. Sheep seems like an interesting one. Yeah, why didn't we go with pig or I'm, I'm bear. wondering. I think there are some actual reasons behind something about Not the genetic simplicity. I would think, though, that would be one of, maybe it's one of the more basic... But George Lucas in 1977 said, oh, you yeah. fought in the Clone Wars. So I remember that. that. I'm sure it's been used previous to that, right? Well, that was but written. Star Wars remember, is huge. Right, but those books were written. Th one, two, three was written. The The story of Star Wars was kind of pre-written, was it not? Nah, I don't know. I mean, they obviously they knew the Clone Wars, so they knew that cl there had to be something in the Star Wars. I'm, I'm not a Star Wars a fight. Right, file. but you all, also got to think about... When that was filmed in 76, released in 77, right. he didn't know it was going to take off. He didn't know there was even going to be a second movie. Right. I'm wondering if he took it off first. the screenplay or something where he had some thought of it. I don't... It's a good question. Right. But I'm just saying, the word clone, I, I don't think was in popular culture. Right. Until Star Wars. You're like, what the fuck's the Clone Wars? You're like, you yeah, have no idea. But that's a Chris... That's a Chris you. I never questioned that. I never even... That line... I'll be honest, it just, until you brought it to my attention, which is rare. Usually we always see this stuff. This one completely blindsided me. You Look at that. You just hit me with a two by four. Hit me even, with your best shot. When I recall, yeah. You found the Clone Wars? I didn't even think about that statement. You knew all. my father? Yeah, I, just, I didn't care. But I was like, yeah, whatever. Let's get to the fucking lightsaber parts. Yeah, <laughs> let's get to the good I shit. I was a kid, man. Where's the TIE fighters? I don't think I was listening to the fucking dialogue of Star Wars. I God forbid. Except for... These aren't the droids. And uh, Scruffy Nerfer. Right, Scruffy Nerfer. Laugh it up, Fuzzball. I think that's in Empire. It is, right. but you know what I'm saying. Uh, Words. Uh, yeah. Any, yeah, so, so what's is the last it, piece? The fact, that, the fact that the word clone has been in our vocabulary for 45 years, but yet it hasn't been a mainstream topic for 40 years. Give or, you know, if you take the years before and the years after the sheep, what does that say? What is that? I mean, I know I sound like a conspiracy theorist. What has technology done that we don't know about? What's yeah. really going on, I guess? Yeah. Is this where you're going to start Am talking I about? Insane? Is this where you're going to start talking about systems and May shit? I Look please at me. have my tinfoil hat? Yeah. Check mark. Sir, I am happy to hand you mine. You can borrow it. It's yes. on loan. But I thought I was the one that's all fucking crazy all the time. And now Sign you're out. all fucking crazy? What happened? What happened, my friend? Uh, Did you have a bad week? <laughs> no, it was pretty okay. No, um, yes. I've been trying to tell you that I feel like a lot of things are going on and you keep going, I don't want to hear about it because it's fucking the same thing. This is the same thing. It's a system that you, you know that there are advances being done and some stuff's going on. Like, you, we know that there are viruses that the CDC, on which the CDC works in Atlanta, that are checking stuff out. In my opinion, COVID was one of the ones that they were working on in China. What, was COVID a cloned <laughs> Star Wars guy <laughs> that Co coughed in somebody's face because yeah. the stormtrooper was not wearing his mask? It was not a clone. Boba Fett banged one of the uh, one of those dancers around. The, the green, yes, the green right? dancer, yes, and, and not tiny dancer, yeah, and green now, dancer, and and they had an offspring called COVID Fett. That's, <laughs> that's COVID fat. COVID fat. Oh, that's great. Um, COVID fat. <laughs> Little COVID, come here. Little COVID, Little come here. <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> can't wait for the, can't wait for you to turn 19. COVID. Oh shit. Get uh, out of the house. Get out. Yeah, get out. <laughs> I'm gonna throw you out at 18 because I do not want you. I do not right. want COVID 19 in this house. Um, I think that's about it, right? Now, what's funny is we went into these old documentaries, so we don't have like current information. So maybe we should look up new shit. See, uh, did they actually do a human? I I haven't found anything uh, in my research. Yeah, what have you found? How no, far I have they climbed? I guess to finish my point is, has this been hiding in plain sight the whole time? Yes. Okay. Because and I didn't really think of that until like this morning. Right. Because you, why would we? Why think, are you touching me with your foot? Why bro? would we think about any of this? You and I think about stuff that no one else thinks about, and we didn't even think about this. Well, so it tells me how scary deep this goes my friend uh, i don't even like rabbit holes man uh, i love rabbit holes. no mm, rabbit tacos but not rabid rabbit tacos. no 
deliciously gamey rabbit. Not, Not gamey rabbit. You just want so Dude, you put tender. some hot sauce on it, it'll be fine. Yeah. Dark meat. All the meat. Tender. Yes. Have you ever had hair? Have you yeah. Had it's delicious. I don't have hair, but I've had hair. I don't like the shoulder part. Okay. It's like weird marrowy, marrowy and just disgusting. I won't even tell you I that like... marrow is a great metal song. <laughs> See, I knew it was coming up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you oh, win. Woo. And it was even unsolicited, my friend. No. What else you got? That's Close all it. I got. Okay. Is... Close it out. Any Finish any... it out. Put a bow. Let's. Do you yes. have any more notes, bro? Um. I don't think I do. I think I got them all. But I, like I said, it was off of these things. Cloning is just really interesting. I feel like it's not even a science question. It's an ethics question. It always will be. Because do these things, will they have the soul question? Is What's the soul? What's consciousness? No. Do you ever you think those you're... questions will ever be answered? Well, the thing is, do has someone created a clone bait human and it's being grown right now? It's it's growing up and it's a fucking ridiculous just piece of cells that doesn't know shit or whatever or is it genius yeah do, does it have consciousness does right. it know what it is does or it have is a it master's just, degree ah. yeah i don't fuck i because in my opinion the whole religious side of things the god creator side i don't it's not, i it's not my opinion that that's what happened it is my opinion that everything evolved it's yeah. my opinion that everything it's all science and well, didn't mash uh, Hasn't evolution been proven? Yes, but people then come into God, put that in, put that into the mix that we would evolve, right? Like, okay, you bake that into the mix, okay. But I'm just saying, like, the creating in my own image, all those other things, anything with the Bible and the religious side, I can't see as arguments because they're not, they're not valid because they're coming from an authority I don't recognize. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. So it makes it challenging for those ethical questions to be answered because I'm, I guess I'm just not ethical. No, but we're still ethical and moral. I mean, we're good people. I would like. We to just think don't so. have a, we don't have a religious affiliation. That's all, right? Yeah, but this is the question. Then here's your final question: Is the juice worth the squeeze? Are all these? We start doing humans, and it doesn't take three hundred like Molly it, or like Dolly. It takes like. 10,000 embryos Whoa. to make one human. Just start. Remember, I know I know it'll get better, but I'm saying the first one. Right, right. Took 10 a lot of born a lot were born with defects that you had to terminate or that maybe even made it to like a couple of years but you they were just horrible living conditions, kind of like the like the like the genetic mutations in first generation uh, marriages, stuff, right? Think about it. blind, you know, cousin marriages, diabetes, right? Eye, you know, blindness, yes. liver problems, all that shit. Because that's going to be that's the reality of cloning. Is it is a percentage right now? It is a very yes. and it's a small percentage compared to success. Success rate. So a, a clean success rate is the juice. Are you, are you are you willing to allow that to happen to get to cloning? Which I pose another question to that: Why? Are we cloning? What's the point of cloning a human? Is it purely to give a couple a child? What What are the motives? I And I don't know the answer to that either. I think there are many motives to that. The gentleman, the Zavos gentleman, claims, his claim is he believes this is the future of reproduction. Okay, he, he that's his claimed, opinion. That's his opinion. Right. But that's his also his drive, his deter... I mean, it's also his craft. It's what yeah. he does. Well, he, he seems so, to want to do it just to see if he can do it purely but for he, scientific reasons. he reason. claims that's right. not what it of is. Of course. I'm not saying I agree with it or not. I'm, right. I'm just going to take him at his word. Yes. Because even that statement alone is still megalomaniacal. I mean, megal megalomaniacal almost, right? Because it's almost like... <laughs> is that a word? I think this is the future, so I'm going to go regardless. Like, because he's not listening to anyone else saying whether it is the future. You know what I mean? He's just going off on his own. He's kind of just doing it. Yeah. Which I think, but he he's talked about trying to get people involved in the conversation about it. I find him to be surprised. I like, I actually admire the guy for devoting his life to something like this. I admire the fact that he's willing to go out on a limb for something he believes in, and he's intelligent enough to be able to clone anything that's that's it's mind-boggling that that's a thing 
I don't think he's, I don't think he's as mad scientist as other people do. I think I'm kind of scared that I really am on his side more than I'm not. It scares me that I, I think the juice is worth the squeeze. What do you think? I don't know. I, I, I don't know because I don't know the motives of the cloning. Is it, what is it for? I, I don't know that. I don't know. I said that a lot today. Well, the problem, this is the problem then. Yeah. Because you're going to get people who want to clone. But your motive would be for you to have to have a child. A baby. Someone who can't see. And then do you limit it to that? That's where you, the issue comes in, right. I believe. Because then you've got genetic manipulation. What if you both, you limit it to only people who can't be, fer, who aren't fertile, who can't have children, right? You limit it to only those people. But then they get in there. Well, I can make them a little 10. I can add 10 points of IQ. I can give them blonde hair, blue eyes. I can do that. Gotta go. Right? Yeah. And then next thing you know, and then, oh, well, doctor, I'll give you an extra hundred bucks if you tell me I'm infertile. You know what I mean? So I can fucking do this. Like, I mean, where does that, where do those Yeah, the corruption. Go, right? I, I get it. You know, yeah, the, it the line is very thin. Yeah, it's very thin. I line. get that. So what, what's funny is for me is I can say without a doubt, for some reason, this sounds like we've evolved to the point where we can understand this, then we should do it because we've evolved to the point where we can understand it. So let's keep fucking evolving because that's, what, is, that's where see, we came is from. Is cloning even evolving? No, 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 no. We've evolved to understand how to clone. Oh. Right? No, cloning isn't necessarily evolution. Right. I'm just okay. saying that we've, humanity has evolved to, the, un, to understand how to clone. So why wouldn't we want to explore the understanding of that? I think anything that we that is now exposed to our mind is something we should fucking follow regardless. But we also created the hydrogen bomb, bomb dude. So came out of war though. Well, I don't care. But it we, but it does a, matter. That's just that's a, that's also the same thought of hey, I can cl I can I can take a cell, a microscopic speck yeah. and I can make a copy of it and it's called cloning. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at science semicolon we can take an atom and split it in half and kill a shitload of people right. that's demonic right yes it came out of war right but also did so did radar so did advances in like well dude you can't we, compare radar no but we to, can have, well, to the splitting of the atom no, my point is the splitting of the atom was going on well before the war but yeah. that was more just computer science and what and it was all fucking written down it wasn't and, weaponized right it wasn't weaponized yet. i understand but my point is so many technological, so many advances came out of war. Yeah. That we could, we probably should. <laughs> you want to jot that one down? No. All tanks. the advances, tanks. Tanks, bro. Tank tops. Yes. Tank bottoms. Tank tops and flop Boy shorts. Woo. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I love my blue shorts. That's all I wear. <laughs> no, um, but, it, but it is a question, right? It's like, yeah, the intent though is going to be different for you. you I would limit it to people who couldn't have children, but then only if you can keep it from altering the fucking ch the genetic makeup. It would have to be a fucking clone, unadulterated, untouched like that. Yes, for cancers and whatnot, you know how they can do the testing because they do mm -hmm. in vitro for those. Mm -hmm. Those are fine, but any enhancement of any way, like in a CRISPR way, you'd have to make illegal. But then some rich motherfucker is going to have that kid that fucking they did it to. And, and that's the slippery slope, I'm afraid. Of. Yeah, it's in, it's not a slippery slope. It's Reality. a vertical cliff. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's just by. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's a good point. So maybe maybe we just shut it all down. No cloning. What does all. everybody else think? Yeah. Twitter I'd love world. to know what you think. What does OJ think? Oh, uh, well... I like I like Ron and Nicole. They were good people. <laughs> Don't do I it. I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't mind bringing them back. That's messed up, bro. Maybe I'll fund them. Too that. soon, man. Too soon. Was that an accusation? No. I do don't I care. get Do I get bla blasphemy hearsay like sued? No. It's, it's ironic that that happened in '96, and that's when the sheep got cloned. Oh, that is kind of funny. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Hello, Twitter world. Maybe he fought so in the Clone Wars. <laughs> back on you, sir. Finish it out. What were we talking about? Tell tell everyone what to do. Beg everyone what to do. Dude, don't tell me what to do. Thank everyone for don't doing what they do. You're not the boss of me, Bruce Springsteen. I am not the boss. I'm going to leave East Street Band, bro. 
What does everybody else think? Leave us a comment on the Twitter, on the Podbean, on the Facebook, on the Instacrotch, and uh, download, rate, subscribe, leave a comment, leave stars. And what does everyone else think about cloning? Are we full of poop? Yeah. Anything else? Yes. The last from thing. You. From you. Oh, the last thing from me is... Um, We'll we'll put check out these things. It's worth watching. Okay, it was interesting. Yeah, go football, go sports. Oh yeah, go Bruce Arians. Go sports. Arians, Bruce Arians, my favorite Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brand new team, nineteen seventy six, with the amazing old helmets. Fourteen, yes, excellent. Owen fourteen, Cre- orange creamsicle color. <laughs> I like it. Loves colors, delicious <laughs> colors. Ah, uh, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. Uh,